Hello guys, welcome to the video. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how you can add Webhook to your Gmail account. Uh, so I have I was having a requirement in which I wanted to get notified whenever a new mail is uh, sent to my inbox on my Gmail account. Uh, I should get notified on my custom server. On uh, it is it's basically a Node.js Express server. You can add any server of any technology. So uh after uh, previously i was pulling the gmail api but i thought it was not the best options and it is not a good way of uh, getting notified so i thought that uh, i should research for gmail uh, webhook so i just found out so i thought of sharing with you guys so for setting up gmail they have a proper documentation and which says that overview i'm giving i'm trying to give the overview which says that uh we should have a, a pub sub setup on a google cloud project and then you can uh, create topics and subscription in that pub sub and you can add the topic to the gmail account to your gmail account so after adding a topic uh, and you will create a subscription and that subscription will basically have a webhook endpoint to your custom server so whenever a new mail is sent to your inbox the topic will be uh, induced with a message and uh, whenever a subscription is attached to the topic automatically the subscription uh, will uh, run and uh, basically it will notify to your server so let me demonstrate you everything in action and uh, for this to work we need to get an OAuth credentials as well so uh, whatever the account we are using to watch the email we need to get the access token and the user id of that uh, email account gmail account so let me show you everything in action first so let's go to the uh, uh, google cloud project i have already created a google cloud project uh, you have to enable the gmail api here first so let me show you that uh, uh, gmail api is already enabled on my account here on this project here you can also enable the gmail api it, in your it will be here enabled so you just click on enable it will get enabled and after any enab uh, getting enabled you need to create an oauth credentials and you need to create an oauth consent to screen as well so you can just create a uh, credential by creating uh, by clicking on create credentials here and you, it's basically a very basic form and you can just uh, click on next and okay you will get a client id client secret as well so for here in the OAuth consent screen, uh, you need to add scopes here. So these are the two main scopes and these are the non-sensitive non scopes which you need to add to your OAuth consent screen. So after uh, adding these scopes and getting access token from these scopes, you will be able to get a proper uh, uh, access to your Gmail API. So after creating an OAuth credentials and uh, uh, OAuth consent screen, you can go to uh, your PubSub uh, API here. You can just search here for PubSub and you will be uh, redirected to here. Yeah, this is the PubSub and you will be redirected to here. Let's go uh, to the documentation first here. So we will be using push notification so whenever a new email is uh, received in our gmail account we will uh, send a push notifications to the pubs of queue and the pubs of queue will notify us so uh, here they are asking us to set up the uh, pubs of setup in our google cloud project and after that we can create a topic and a subscription so uh, here we are going to create a webhook push type of subscription and we will uh, be receiving an http post callback on our servers or you can create a poll also and you can just keep an eye on the queue and you can just pull out all the messages of the queue and receive on your own on your server and after that you will be granting published rights on your topic and then we will, we will be attaching this topic to your gmail account so let me show you everything in action go to your pub sub uh, uh, interface here create a new topic here give a topic name for example demo topic it will be your topic id as well and here is the proper topic name you, ha you have to just copy these uh, topic name so that it is easy for you i have created a postman collection to show you everything and uh, uh, just copy it and save it somewhere else of course you can get it after that also but it is easier the entire path is given here so after creating the topic we will be creating a subscription and we will be attaching an 
uh, endpoint there. So for uh, an endpoint, I have already created an ngrock URL here. If we will be using this uh, ngrock URL to attach it to a subscription. So as you can see, uh, a demo topic has been created and a subscription is also created. So I'll create a new subscription. Uh, I'll use that subscription here and I'll edit the subscription. I'll create a push type of subscription and I will add an endpoint here and add a path also slash webhook slash gmail and you can enable authentication or enable payload and wrapping it's up to your choice and also you can add an expiration time for the subscription uh, you can also set it to never expire so that you don't have to create the uh, subscription again and again and you can just update it out so here after uh, creating a subscription they are also asking us to grant publish rights on a topic so copy this uh, account path go to your topic here select the topic go to permissions tab here add a principal here uh, paste that thing here and assign goals so in the role you have to go to your uh, pub sub here and you can add a publisher role here so yeah uh, that's it guys and after that let's go to our server i have already created a express server here and i'll just run it out so the server is running and uh, let me test my pub sub whether it is actually sending a uh, message to my server or not so i'll go to the demo topic and go to the messages tab here and i'll publish a message here for example, uh, I will send only one message and a message body. This is sample message body. You can also add some attributes here. For example, uh, anything like key name and value. And you can just uh, publish a message. So let's go to our ngrock here. I think we should receive a post request here. And yeah, we received the post request here with our attributes and the data. This is the data which it was, it is in the binary format, uh, base 64 format, and we can just decode it out. So the pubs of setup is okay. Now let's subscribe this topic to a Gmail account as well. So for this, in our uh, project, I have already uh, set up an authentication here. You can, uh, in the env file, you can add your uh, uh, Google client ID, client secret, and callback URL, which you have, uh, which you are, uh, which you have must have gotten from the uh, OAuth credentials screen. So let's go to this endpoint first here, slash auth slash Google, and we will be getting a console of our uh, access token, our profile. The profile contains the user ID, which will be going to use. So let's go to uh, this endpoint here localhost 4000 slash auth slash so here we have you can select your account i'll select this and after that uh, you should have uh, received okay this is the access block so i think uh, i have to add this email to my testing emails as well so let's go to the uh, here I'll save and continue I'll go to my edit app and I will add a testing email if we can add here okay I don't think so that we can add a testing email or we can add I don't know that we can add okay let's use this email I'll sign in from another account let's see if that works I'll use this email as I created from my this account. It's organization specific. So now it's showing me all the scopes and you can just allow it out. Yeah. So in the console, uh, you will be getting your credentials. Uh, I'm not showing this uh, as of uh, security purposes. Of course, you understand that. And after just copy the access token and the uh, user ID from here, and you can just paste it out in the postman collection in the demo here in the gmail api demo in the uh, authorization portion you can just add bearer token authorization and paste the token in that uh, text text box so after getting the uh, uh, 
pasting the token and getting the user ID and the access token, we now have to subscribe. Uh, we now have to attach our topic to the Gmail account as well. So for adding the Gmail account, let me just uh, go to this endpoint here. It is also mentioned on the documentations as well. Uh, we need to uh, send a watch request. Uh, we need to send our watch request and we need to send a topic ID, topic name in the body so that every uh, mail is sent to, to this topic ID and whatever the subscription is attached to this topic ID that subscription will run and uh, of course that in the in our case it is a webhook so our webhook will be notified so let me uh, test this out once uh, it is working or not so first of all we are going to attach our user ID here so I will pause for a minute and I'll just uh, paste uh, my credentials and uh, come back. Uh, yeah. So after pasting the token uh, so that uh, it can be accessed by all three endpoints, I pasted it in the collection level. So let me, uh, I hope that you have copied the topic name somewhere. I have copied it in my clipboard. I think it should be here. Yeah, uh, it is here. So I'll just paste it out here and after pasting it out and uh, hitting the URL you will be notified with the history ID and the expiration so it means that your endpoint or your topic is successfully attached to your email so let's test this out and I think on our server we should receive proper uh, email notifications as well so let me just clear out the entire console once here we have a post request uh, a setup which has the webhook slash gmail of course this is the endpoint which we are registered and um, you can see uh, first of all uh, we will directly check in the ngrock uh, uh, you know portal here either we are receiving a webhook or not so i will just you know uh, send an email from a, another account to this uh, gmail account which i have given access to right now so for sending that uh, i'll use my another account and i'll send an email for example to test subject contributing to youtube and we will just uh, send it out and let's see whether it is working here or not we should get a third request here if everything went fine okay so here we have a request here so i think in the console we should have received yeah here we are we have received uh, a new email to this email address and we have a history id here you can just uh, yeah so after receiving the history id you can use this history id to get uh, the list of messages which were uh, given to your email account gmail account during this history id so for this you can go to your uh, gmail api here go to your user histories endpoint here and you can just pass your start history id here to this and in the response you will receive an object of your history so each history object has a message uh, uh, have a message uh, array which have a thread id you can use this thread id to actually get a uh, you, to actually get an, a proper gmail uh, i will show you a demo here so here we have a message id which i use to uh, access the entire mail here so after hitting with that message id here which we received from the history endpoint you will receive your entire mail data here for example uh, here you have your uh, two uh, two value here you have your from value here you have your subject and uh, here you have your snippet of a body so like this you can access the entire content of the gmail
so but the initial uh, point was to get notified whenever a new mail is sent to your gmail account which we have successfully achieved by adding the pubsub to your gmail uh, project or to the google cloud project and finally adding the topic to your gmail so that's it guys if you have any questions uh, regarding the entire setup please let me know i'll be happy to help and uh, yeah just happy coding thank you